Welcome to our weekend vlog. What are the odds? Today we are going out for dinner with Lori, the one who brought me all those suppers. We're taking her and her husband to see Hairspray at the Mayfield Dinner Theater. Um, uh, remember we went there at Christmas with Richard's uh, office. And I'm just going to do these dishes. And um, so I decided I was going to stay in my jammies until it was time to go. They're not really jammies. It's like, I'll show you. I like this long shirt and matching pants. But I look, look. So what are the odds? The so one time you decide you're going to stay like this. Our dog has found an escape route out of the yard and uh, he decides he's going to run away. So I'm just sitting having a cup of coffee at the table eating my breakfast. Ding dong, the doorbell rings. Of course it's the most handsome young man in the neighborhood. Comes with his do our dog in his arms. Here, Percy got away. I'm like, oh thanks. And I'm like, you know, I don't usually, you felt like saying, I usually do get dressed. I really, really do. But today I'm going, you know, like I'm like, mm, thanks. Good thing I'm so old that it doesn't really, it, it bothers you, but not as much as if I was like 30. So I'm going outside to figure out how that dog got out. Like, can you see how it's all blocked up here? Unless for some reason Richard left the uh, gate open without meaning to. Let's go see. Every time I come out here, it's like we do yard work and then it's messy again. Yard work, and, ooh. I get a bee in my bonnet about that. Oh yeah, look. Yeah, great, Richard. Wonder how the dog got out, guys. What do you think? How do you think the dog got out of the yard? I have to take a picture of this because Richard will not believe me when I say, you left the gate open. So I decided to do my pre-makeup phase for tonight. I always have to get ready ahead of time because, um, yeah, I just, that's just how I roll. It's way easier if I get a little tired during the day. I can still lie down and all I have to do is touch up the old face. So I've been making smoothies for lunch lately. Not particularly because I'm dieting or anything like that, just because, um, I don't know, I just don't have that great of an appetite, and so might as well eat something healthy. Oh, I forgot my spinach. I've been putting spinach in them. Where is my spinach? I chopped up fresh spinach like this, and then I put it in one cup increments and then just froze it because you can't even taste the spinach in the drink and at least I know I'm getting some really good nutrients so they're really healthy smoothies so I'm just going to add some spinach half a banana because this one's just for me it might taste quite well I guess it'll be okay I was going to say it might taste quite spinachy because it's just I'm just making it for one person but yeah, Richard's been having these two along with me, but then he'll also have other food with it. But he's not here right now. He's over at Deanne and Brody's house. They're putting in the garden. We, um, for years, have had a community garden. And this year, Deanne and Brody's yard is massive. And we're like, this is crazy. Why are we going? Like, the community garden is wonderful. I love it. Love, love, love the community part of it. But as with any organization, it's as good as who, who runs it. And we've been involved for, oh, probably 10 years. But it's just getting so, like everything gets so political. I mean, all I want is my organic vegetables. And we look after our plot and water our stuff. And 
You're not allowed to use any kind of fertilizers or anything like that, which is fantastic. But then we thought, Deanne and Rosie have this massive yard. It's so big. Putting some strawberries into. So we just thought, why aren't we just using their yard? Now, I'm going to add a little bit of protein to this drink because I've been finding that I'm really, really not getting enough... Um, it's protein, I know it is. So remember those protein drinks I used to have? I'm just going to put one scoop in, not two. And a little bit of milk. Just to bump it up a little bit, you know? Two bits of milk. So yeah, that's going to be my lunch. Easy to ingest. And um, really, really, really healthy for you. I weighed myself at my mom's doctor's appointment yesterday. I'm popping in a tiny bit of orange juice too. And um, yeah, I'd lost about five pounds, but I still hate this waddle thing, you know, this thing. But it will go. I know it will. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. So my mother and I are going to go for a walk. So I'm just going to whir this up. And <laughs> So here is my concoction. This one's a pretty color green. They're always green of some sort, so we'll see how this tastes. If I need to add anything. So can you see the green? Let me see. Because of the way the light is. Let me see. Mmm. That is really, really good. Cheers! So here we are walking my mother and Greta Garbo because my scalp started to burn. So I had to put this, I had this on around my neck and I, I feel so dumb, but I'm not burning my scalp. So whatever, right? I just threw this up. That's a nice motor home or mo home as Turner used to call them. And Percy is with us too. Right, Purse? So we're looking at all the, uh, everybody's color of their lawn. There's ours, then theirs, mm -hmm. then theirs, good then theirs, the then theirs. We don't know why ours looks like pure so green far. golf course. Because look at that. It's very pretty though. Mm -hmm. Really nice. Come on, Percy. So I went and had a chat, chat with Laura and... She's going to give us some plants that, oh, beautiful stuff. So that's cool. She has, her front yard is a local vegetation that's all um, meant for this area. Percy, are you tired? Look at him. You ready to go in the house? I could even put the leash down. I don't think he'd go anywhere. He is so poop. That's how you get a dog that it's wants smart. to run away. Wear his little butt out. There you go. <laughs> He's so tired. So we're on our way to the Mayfield Dinner Theater. And um, Richard had to come home and take a fast shower because he was working all day on Deanne. Oh, well, it's not Deanne's garden. It's our garden. Like both of us, but it's at her house. So really looking forward to seeing this. Hey Richard, this is a Broadway musical. Because you said you have you seen Hairspray before? Oh, it's really good. So, what's, what's it about? Uh, it's about this little girl, this young girl. She's kind of chubby, and she loves shows like Dick Clark's American Bandstand, kind of like that. But it's not really called Dick Clark, but it's like that. And she always wants to be a dance runner, but she's chubby. And she's fat. So, uh, and then there's. It's just so good. It's really good. What's I got to do with her being fat? Because she can't be on TV because they think she's too fat. And then there's an element of, because it's in the 50s, and, um, well, you'll see, it's just so good. It's really good. It's I've seen Hairspray, the movie, the Broadway play. I'm just so glad that that's what's playing at the Mayfield. 
And if it, the music is any indication, that last film we saw, remember, with your staff, the singers were amazing. And I have a feeling it might be some of those same performers. I sure hope so, because then that's just going to make it amazing. Like, it's a, it's a dinner theater on such a high level. Like, it, at the end of the day, it's a buffet. But the food is... Oh, so good and such top quality and then you're sitting in kind of they call it Vegas style theater I'll try and videotape it before the show starts if I can so you can see this where you sit so we're meeting Lori and Bruce here and we're gonna pick up our tickets and have a fun time called me today and gone we would have gone with them I was supposed to but it was the last day of our conference so I couldn't get away So we're just leaving Hairspray. What do you think, Richard? It was good. It was so good. Yeah. It was so funny. And, uh, and the one guy who played Tracy's father looked like our doctor, which made it even funnier. It was actually good. <laughs> he was, I loved him. He was when, so, when he was dancing yeah. around, it was oh. like just like and our... Like he was just like, you know... Oh, like, I oh. know. He was so like, he good. He was good. Everyone was. was. Yeah, yeah. Every one of the characters were so good. It was so enjoyable. You can't even see me, but it was really nice. And Lori and Bruce so enjoyed it too. And we had a really, really, really good visit with them that you don't usually get unless it's just the two, you know, the four of us. So um, lovely evening. So we're heading home now. So I've got some cronies with me this afternoon. I've got me, my mother. Say hello. Hi, it's your mother. With yes. The white hair. And then my sister. Hi. And we're going to check out the Enjoy Center. And I'm not going to drive with my camera. I'll just drive a little bit. So the Enjoy Center is just around the block. There's Laura's house. She had three cars in it last night. And we'll see what we can see and what kind of damage we can do at the Enjoy Center. So here we are at the Enjoy Center and we're sweating for my mother and my sister and I just want to show you where all the plants are growing. I just think this is so beautiful. Like we can't go in here but it's gorgeous. And there's flowers way over there. You can't see them but they're going, oh maybe you can here going by on a conveyor belt so that they each get the same amount of water and sunshine. Isn't that beautiful? It's just such a beautiful place. So well designed. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous day out. As my sister said, it is so aptly named the Enjoy Center because we had lunch here. We bought a few goodies here, get chit chat, you can shop, and they had to go to the restroom, so I said I would bring everything to the car and wait for them, because actually I need to sit down. So that's what I'm going to do. So this is the one thing that I hate, and I can say hate, about going out with my sister and my mom. Shopping around for a couple hours going for lunch after having already gone out the night before is these um, bouts of fatigue and exhaustion. Because I am like dragging my butt. I managed to make supper because Richard's been working in the yard but after that I'm just like done and it's just so stupid. I have all these things I want to do and I don't want to be lying here doing nothing. I've read two books. I finished that one I was telling you about last week. It's really good. I gave it about a four out of five stars. And I'm reading this one right now about the brain. I can't remember the name of it. And it's really good. It's uh, nonfiction and very, very interesting. And it was very interesting read for me having just had an incident with your brain so it you could really relate but even if you haven't it's just 
amazing how someone can get this sick and she was so lucky that the doctors figured it out that it was an infection and encephalitis kind of thing in her brain or she would have been sent to a mental asylum so very very good book I'm in the last few pages of that book and I highly recommend it it's on the New York Times bestseller list and I read it in about three days two or three days excellent read really good so I guess I'll just go and finish reading the last few pages of that but you know there's crafts to do things to do laundry to fold and I'm pooped Ugh. pooped I'm always so leery when I'm opening up um umbrellas because my girlfriend I used to work with she opened up their backyard umbrella on their table and a bat was hanging inside so after that I was like yikes looks like an umbrella fair looks like we could have a um, backyard like country fair with all these umbrellas but I'm going to be painting that bench and this is where I might come and sit and rest and it must be protected you know at all times, got my sunscreen, got the telephone, got my tunes. Richard's in the house, he is not feeling good. Last night we bought, he bought a watermelon. He loves watermelon. I mean, loves it. And he's one of those people that can't just eat one slice. They have to eat half the watermelon, you know? So, yeah, he woke up this morning and he you could hear his stomach just gurgling, you know. So he said, not often that Richard isn't feeling well. They told him to put his pajamas on and go back to bed. So that's what he's doing. He's having a little rest upstairs. And so I thought, I wanted to art journal, but then I thought, you know what? I'm going to go out and get this painted because I also want that painted too. I'll show you guys what we're doing. Making a memorial garden. You see these little um, paths? This? I bought them last year at the dollar store actually. And we're going to be putting them in here. It's going to be a pathway from the cabin to the fire pit. We didn't know where else to aim it, but you know it has to have a direction. And then um, I'm going to be putting that turquoise buggy over here. And just I got some uh, hydrangeas that are blue and white. And I'm just making this area a memorial garden for our twins that we lost years ago. I just want to pay homage to them. And when I'm looking out the window in the art hut, I want to be able to look in here and it be all pretty and little boyish and, you know, so... We're, we're going to put Carson, our garden fairy. He's going to be getting a new home in this tree. And the bench is going to sit under this tree. And yeah, it's going to look really nice. So, first thing I'm going to start with is this bench. So I think I'm going to have to knock it over to get some of that dust out. But we shall see. So I'm just sitting here having some olives, turkey pepperoni, some apple smoked cheese that I picked up, apple smoked cheddar I picked up the Enjoy Center, and some hummus and crackers. It's in a snack. And my mama, she is like die hard. She's painted mostly that whole bench. I did the rocking chair and part of the bench. And she's just like gung ho, I'm so tired. She's like, okay, I'm going back to paint. Wowzers. So I'm going to need this. Oopsie, watch. Step there now, Mabel. <laughs> I'm going to. I said, watch your step now, Mabel. Just doing your job. I am. So I'm going to eat my lunch and go join her and finish up that rocking chair. So today is a holiday. It's Victoria Day here in Canada. And I just want to show you what my mom and I did yesterday and what Richard did today. So we planted my herb garden, Montjardin Potager. I'm missing a couple of herbs, but got it going and they look good. And then yesterday, come on, Percy. Got morning coffee. 
I really slept in. So we painted that rocking chair and the bench. See the bench in the back? Doesn't that look gorgeous? Oh, I love it. So this is where we're going to be putting the memorial garden. There's the path and this old, old baby carriage. I love it. The purpose of this path is to be, be a reflexology path where you can walk with bare feet. Let me give it a try. Oh, yeah. Of course, we'll be taking the plastic off. But I just want to see what. Oh, it feels so good on your feet. That was my whole point. Oh, it's actually warm, too, where the sun must have been shining right here. So this is what I wanted to see from there. So let's see here and have my morning coffee. Nice. And of course, he pees. He has christened my spot. This is how far we got today. Covered those vintage chairs with new cushion covers. They're so pretty. And then I planted, Richard and I planted, the hydrangeas and the blue hydrangea there and that's a glowing ball that changes color at nighttime it's gorgeous so we have to do all our electrical because the pump has to get hooked up and all that kind of stuff and I love this carriage this baby carriage it's a vintage old thing and the, the thing we painted yesterday and then we have to take all the plastic off of the reflexology path it starts here and works its way behind the apple tree right to the fire pit and it's beautiful i love it and then right here is going to be where the deck is going to go and this rocking chair is going to be on there with that bird cage with some flowers in it so we did a little work over there too so it's really coming along slowly but surely you know so pretty love it so this is where i'm going to end my vlog just my view from our balcony i just sat here under the umbrella and just ate some lunch and richard's making up for the day he missed putting in the garden at the end because he was really not feeling well yesterday so he's over there and i am just going to sit down relax and finish reading my book so thanks for coming along with us this weekend, and I hope you all have a beautiful, wonderful week, and we will see you all next week. Bye.